Plantation Welfare Study was conducted to continuously improve our knowledge of welfare and our welfare assessment tools for whales and dolphins living in zoos and aquariums. There were two main goals of the study. The first goal was to develop healthy reference intervals and values that veterinarians and animal care staff can look at when assessing blood samples or hormone values for four different species of whales and dolphins. The second goal was to examine how habitat characteristics, environmental enrichment, and animal training are related to behavioral indicators of welfare for bottlenose dolphins. Animal care staff also trained the dolphins to wear a biologger device called an M-tag, which the dolphins could remove at any time. The M-tags gave us fantastic data about dolphins' activity levels and how they use their habitats. The dataset was collected from whales and dolphins over a five-week period in 2018 and again in 2019. The biological samples, like the blood and the fecal samples, were collected by animal care staff and veterinarians using trained voluntary behaviors, meaning that the dolphins could choose if they wanted to provide the samples. One of our main findings from the study was that, for bottlenose dolphins, environmental enrichment programs and social management factors were more strongly related to behaviors likely indicative of positive welfare than habitat characteristics. The study also resulted in a new tool called ZooPhysiotrack that can help cetacean managers in checking the health and welfare biomarkers of the animals and their care against the study's healthy population. 43 accredited zoos and aquariums in seven countries were involved. This was the largest investigation of dolphin welfare to have ever been completed. The results from the study include data from 216 common and Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphins, 13 beluga whales, and 8 Pacific white-sided dolphins. We're very excited about the results of the cetacean welfare study as we're continuously looking for ways to improve our already robust welfare and enrichment programs to provide the best welfare for the dolphins that are in our care. Based upon the findings, we've implemented some changes to our already robust enrichment program. We've implemented new complex and challenging types of cognitive tasks and enrichment devices, along with a schedule of new and innovative enrichment that are added to our inventory regularly. A really great outcome of the cetacean welfare study is the invention of Zoo PhysioTrack. I can use this app to ensure that our dolphins are healthy and that their welfare biomarkers are within ranges provided by this study. And of course, this is in addition to our veterinary care and husbandry care programs that we have here at Seven Seas and Brookfield Zoo to ensure that our animals are thriving. <laughs>